clock date? 7112. The Steven has given me this Earth machine to replace my communicator log. It looks extremely primitive. He also said he wanted me to stop calling him the Steven. It's just Steven. I said I'd call him whatever I want. <laughs> he told me that was rude. Rude? I guess I'll call him Steven. The organic life forms of Earth have fascinating traits despite their poor choice of residence. I wonder if all of them have flight capabilities. Oh, you must be Peridot. Oh, oh, oh! Peridot! What do you want? You can't just shove someone off of a roof. Why not? This is a human. He isn't like us. He's fragile and soft. Hey, it's not like a six-pack is going to save you from that height. You could have seriously hurt him. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Hmm. Greg, you have to excuse Peridot. She's far from her homeworld, and she still has a lot to learn about our planet. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Uh, hey, yeah, don't worry about it. Ugh. In conclusion, not all of the organic beings here can fly. Additionally, it is without question that the permafusion garnet is the worst. Today I was assigned a chore. Cleaning duty, like I'm the pearl. These clumps don't know how lucky they are to have me. Although while doing chore, I did happen upon a container containing many shirts. Imagine appearance modifiers that aren't melted to your body. Ooh. <laughs> nice shorts. <laughs> How, how did these get here? Ah! Log date, 7122. Today marks the 30th Earth rotation since my capture. Happy one month anniversary! Cylinders? They're stilts. You tie them on your feet and they make you taller. And I try to spruce them up a bit. I don't know what it is about flames, but they just make everything cooler. Why are you giving me these? Because I want you to feel nice. That's what gifts are for. You give them to your friends to show you care. And they go, wow, thanks. <laughs> as if I'd stoop so low as to tie your earth trash to my body. Leave me! Go, 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 go! And wow, thanks! <laughs> Why, yes, Pearl, I did get taller. How correct of you to notice. Of course, Amethyst, I will acquire those cheesy chaps for you off that very high shelf. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> they even function in reverse! Jokes. <clears throat> Why did the chicken cross the road? The chicken wanted to get to the other side of the road. Ah! <laughs> What's a chicken? It seems the Earth ones are constantly filling the voids of their life with meaningless distractions. On the last episode of Camp Pining Hearts. I don't care that you're on the yellow team, Percy. We can make this work. It's cooler, Warpullet. Doesn't that mean anything to you? What is this strange ritual? Uh, that's, um... Are they attempting fusion? No, well, my dad told me during certain stages in your life... How could anyone indulge in this? Baseless drivel! I'll have no part of it. Hour 78 of Camp Pining Hearts. It's, it's the Cooler, cooler War Bullet. Doesn't, Doesn't that, that mean, mean anything, anything to you? you? Uh, you've been here for a few days. Is everything okay? I've just been watching your previously recorded entertainment. Is that the same episode from three days ago? There's more than one. Mmm, nah. Oh, you made a picture. Picture? This isn't just a picture, Steven. It's a complex chart cataloging the compatible characteristics between campers. Somehow the rejects at Camp Claude fail to recognize the superior pair that is Pierre and Percy. Well, that's because Paulette likes Percy. Paulette? Ha! Paulette has no place in the camp's hierarchy. Now Pierre. Pierre is a brute. Pierre laid waste to the three-legged races. Pierre and Percy present the strongest battle formation. They destroy the camp! You got all this from one episode? It's subtext, Steven. Allow me to explain. Well, first of all, Percy and Pierre are... I remember this part. And that's why Percy and Pierre are objectively the best! each other! We are the Crystal Gems We'll always save the day And if you think we 